that Governor Romney now has grow larger and larger. It's what I call we're in the ooze season. Uh, President Obama's numbers will ooze down, and Governor Romney's well, their numbers will ooze up, and America will do the right thing on November 6th. Yes, sir. Andy Sullivan from the 9-11 Hot Hats. Uh, folks, this is to anyone up there. I'm probably the most quintessential blue-collar, middle-class guy here, I'm assuming. And my, I'm here on my own time, on my own dime. I came down here because I am tired of the rhetoric and the platitudes. And my big question is this. Do you realize all the support that you guys have within the blue collar community right now at this time? And we feel like we're being abandoned, like no one is extending an olive branch out to that group because immediately you think union, you think Democrat. And let me tell you something, the rank and file is 60 to 70 percent with you guys, but they just need a sign. It's only the leadership that is these blind drones that are just listening to this Obama stuff. It's because we know you're there that I am confident this is going to be a good election. If you need a sign, here's the sign. There's one guy who understands that private sector unions are, are really a part of the process as long as they, they, they don't get the temptation to overreach. And there are some difficulties with what the NLRB did to Governor Haley's state or tried to do to her state. Okay, we understand that, but we do also understand that, that uh, there are great ways uh, for the business side and the labor side to work well. When I was governor, I had what I still think is the largest union job in America going on in my state at Seabrook Power Plant. And, and we ended up with a great relationship with the blue collar side of America. They are the backbone of what makes this country efficient and work well. And sometimes there are conflicts, if you will, on the high policy level when folks in Washington, like President Obama, try and cut very special deals with the hierarchy that likes to sit in the White House and have coffee, tea, or perhaps the new flavor of beer that the President is making. But we need you folks. We understand that you are the backbone of this country, that you create the efficiency in our manufacturing jobs, that the relationships should be better, and that every once in a while things get off track when, when a stacked NLRB goes in the wrong direction. But I appreciate you being here. Governor Romney appreciates you being here. And please send the message back. It will be better. And it will be better because you will help us make it better. Thank you. Yes, sir.